Mom, it's nearly sat the way a little bit. Not <laughs> hey guys! Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. So today, as you can see, we are going to be doing a mukbang with our trusted ketchup and mayonnaise. Like it's a must. It was KFC because uh, we totally forgot to order uh, dips. No, there might be. You know, I didn't, I didn't really look. I just opened it quickly. In my comment is no dips. So anyhow, there is dips. That'd be awkward. We ordered twenty one. Right, so here. You should save the chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, there isn't. See, I told you. No. Basically, we didn't know where to go, so we thought, why not go to KFC? The one right, right next to my house is Halal. And yeah, that one's big. So yeah. Okay. The one next to my house is Halal, so we were really lucky about it. So we have that or Macadies, and obviously, Macadies is not I Halal. I hate McDonald's. And you, the only thing we can actually get is a veggie bagel or, or fish. And like this girl is, a, is definitely a chicken eater, so she loves her chicken. I like chicken and a meat, but I don't like. Like fit, like I like fish, but I don't like McDonald's. Anyway, you do that salt, baby girl. <laughs> no, it's like half is still loads in here. Look. Okay, so you're probably wondering. Um, I mean, I thought you vegetarian. What's this? She's a part-time vegetarian, basically. So when she fancies chicken, she eats it. <laughs> when she doesn't, mm -hmm. she doesn't. Basically, long story short, is that. I don't know what to explain anymore. I'm trying to explain this to everyone, but I can't. Basically, it's hard to understand. She eats certain chicken. Like, she won't eat chicken from like. She won't eat like a whole chicken. She'll eat like little things. So, like, she won't eat little things. It's hard to explain to anyone. Like, when trying to explain, like, are you vegetarian or do you eat chicken? Do you eat meat? This is hard to explain. So, you know what? But you hardly like. Can I just, you know, have some space for my chips? Oh, you're going to see you. me. So, you, you, you got. I'm not even talking too much. I'm hungry. You guys. They want to know about the chips. Obviously, KFC came out with like new chips. These are like wedges kind of slash normal chips. No, the hand cut chips. The hand cut chips, but like obviously they've still got skin on it and everything. So you're probably wondering, is it any good? Would I recommend it to you guys? Because this has been talked about everywhere. So I'm gonna be trying it out for you guys and actually let you know. I it's tried really it. Good. It is very tasty. It's nice. But I'm very hungry, so she's just gonna munch. So um, don't, just, just excuse her. I'm gonna put ketchup. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just, eat your chips, babe. I'm not one. You can put them closer to me because I can't be up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go in and get ketchup. Huh? <laughs> 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 the guy's got a pink suit, little chubby thing. Cute. I'm gonna go with the mayonnaise because mayonnaise is bae. Ketchup. And mayonnaise. this is how we know we're not related because I um, love ketchup and she loves mayonnaise. No, not even that. She puts it all over her chips. I put it on the side and dip. Dipper. I'm a dipper. She's a dipper. She's a scruncher. <laughs> I have mayonnaise. I have oh my mayonnaise. god, the chips is ketchup. actually decent. Yeah, I know. It's actually decent. It's not like as good as everyone said it, it was. Like amazing, blah blah blah. But it's it's alright. It's decent. It's edible. Anyways, we are just talking about food. Okay, we should really introduce the subject. Hey yeah. guys, my name is Iman Chabi. She didn't introduce me. I'm her sister. I also have a YouTube channel. But I feel like I don't out. need to introduce you anymore. I want here. Like okay. you, you've been on my channel for so long now. People know who you are. There's new peoples. If you guys are wondering who this person is, this is Iman. She's my younger sister. A lot of people think we're twins. We're a lot of people friends. think I'm older as well. Yeah. I'm not. No, honey. There's quite um, it's quite a few years between us. So, cheers. I'm 18. Video. In four weeks, I'm about a lot. Sure. Send your birthday messages to me now, please. Um, for gifts, I'll send you a postcode. I'll send you my postcode and, you know, address and stuff. At me, babes. Okay. okay. So, we're going to be doing. A mukbang. Well, we've got our food laid out. We didn't waste no time because we're a bit peckish, you know. We went to the gym today morning, so I don't know how this this has come about, but yeah. I looked a bit different today, guys, and I don't really look that cute because, first of all, I'm wearing my gym clothes. I had a shower, obviously, but I'm just saying I'm wearing my gym clothes because <laughs> I'm at Amina's house. Secondly, this is all her makeup, so I don't look 10 10 because I'm not used to using her makeup, her brushes. Hey, it's my makeup is so much better than yours. <laughs> well, why do I look cuter when I wear my makeup then? <laughs> I just don't know how to use her makeup basically. I know how to use my makeup and that's why I look like this crusty. But, you know, it it's is what it is. Out. Oh, smell it. Oh, it's gonna put me off. Do you like that smell? Yeah. Oh, it smells so <laughs> She's such a bitch like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, today we didn't even talk about Katie the chicken for how many I'm starving! Oh no. my god, let's okay. introduce okay. the video. Wait, no, no. Uh, so today's topic is going to be about friendship. Me and Iman both have a lot of scenarios. I love experience say. in this topic Ex as yeah. well. Um, we did ask Good and bad. Good and bad. Of course. We asked on her Instagram what you guys wanted to see. A lot of people sent in their requests and 
friendship was a very well yeah. requested one so we thought we'd talk about it for you guys today um yeah. so yeah and we both have a little you know scenarios a little drama a little gossips and stuff like that so I'm i feel like, like friendship is friendship, 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 friendship. i feel like friendship is friendship <laughs> what the fuck i feel like friendship is a good topic to start off this whole series like bismillahirrahmanirrahim and by the way guys because this is a mukbang you're allowed to talk and eat in the same time so if anyone's if we're both like you know stuff on our faces and talking you're allowed to because this is a mukbang so if you guys didn't know get to know <laughs> how do we start this off okay so obviously as you guys know me and emina are very different ages so emina is a bit older than me so she has um more experience than me in the child in the friendship kind of category um, friendship <clears throat> yeah Emin has been through more like different scenarios than I have been through. So why don't you start off with a scenario about I need you? Huh? I need you to pass over to me. Okay, I'll start. So absolutely fine, darling. Um, okay, so let's talk about fake friends first of all. Okay, so the first fake category friends. is going to be fake friends. Yeah, because friendship is a big, you know, just a little big one. To talk about. So give me friends. a scenario that you've been through that oh, someone's done you wrong, done you the dirties, you know. Go on. Obviously, I've had a lot of friends. Um, alhamdulillah. Oh, this kid is so humble. <laughs> no, humble. I was gonna say it's something bad as well. I actually, let me just burp for it. You don't burp next to me, mate. Dip that chicken, baby. It's not coming. Can you um, obviously, <clears throat> if you guys didn't already know, I've been through a lot of stuff in the, like. Gullion, for example, okay? Mm. Um, obviously, I'm not going to talk about this in too much detail because Maybe it's that personal. Be next topic. Maybe that could be yeah. a channel about it. It can be, yeah. We can talk about this in my channel, but mm. it's personal. So, obviously, it's not something that you know, you should go on Take and like, about. front about it. No. It's like, I don't want nobody to feel sympathy for me because everybody's been through stuff in life. But, like I'd say, um, to do with fake friends, it's like, in a scenario that I've personally been in, is to do with secondary school. Mm. Growing up, obviously, I've been through diff different scenarios, but one scenario that really affected me the most mm. was I had this best friend. If you're watching this, <laughs> you already know who you is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I had this friend. Is. No, that girl's not my friend, bitch. She's your friend? Yeah, that girl on FaceTime me yesterday night. <laughs> oh my god, after all the drama that you guys told, you told me about. Cut the story short, I had this best friend um, and then I moved away for a little bit because obviously life gets in the way. I come back and this girl's like, oh my god, let's be best friends. Uh, basically what happened is her boyfriend obviously didn't like her dusty ass. He asked me out, not my fault, baby girl. I said no. That's <laughs> big, <laughs> man. I said no because um, I'm not about that, like, first of all, and I don't want your boyfriend. Second hand. Second hand. I don't want your, you know leftovers babes yeah but anyway it wasn't even her leftovers imagine this guy was her boyfriend he dumped her this is my first day when i first started this school he dumped her that same day my guy wants to come to me and say um yo yo you something like oh yeah i really find you pretty would you like to go out with me i looked at him i said darling who are you really? who are you i don't want you so I'm sorry, but no. Um, and then she started bullying you because your her boyfriend fancied you. <clears throat> it's not my fault. A lot of girls don't like me because of the boyfriend. Babe, keep your boyfriend on lock, darling. Why? Why down. are you getting mad at me because your man wants me? <laughs> that doesn't really make sense. Maybe you should, you know, control your boyfriend, and then you know he won't want me. And I never, and the thing is, the funny thing is, I never entertained any of these guys. Yeah. I was so innocent and humble. And like, shit. and so, I was so shy. I'm such a shy person. Now I'm a bit more confident, but I was such a shy person. It was jokes. Like, literally, I just mind my own business, sat there, you know, did my work. Literally, I was so shy. Um, and I hung out with, like, flipping Ajmal's cousin. If you watch it, it's hey. hey. Yeah, that was, like, my only friend. Um, and that's Adol's cousin. Um... <laughs> and this girl there so basically what happened she caused a lot of drama for me because her boyfriend wanted me it's not my it's not my fault um i did come to her and i was honest with her i said babes you know your man wants me and she was like what and then she this is how she said the what? bitch said to me i don't think we can be friends i, I was a bit i was a bit heartbroken a little bit you know, just a little bit <laughs> and i was like oh, why I, I said i told you the truth you know i did want him i said to him no at least you didn't do him like do her wrong and at least you confronted no, no. her and told her i'm not about that you know fake life no take your man i don't want him babes anyway and then after what happened was this girl goes to me um 
Because um, she had, imagine the same day she got a new man. Both these girls are so legs. I can't relate. We can't relate, pick ones, ones, can't relate. So yeah, that's Iman's situation, hard drama that she's been through. So now you can eat and I'm gonna be talking about my drama and what's happened to me. I've had so many situations in secondary school, in college where people effed me up here. Before obviously Emina talks about her situation, I just wanna say no hard feelings to anybody because at the end of the day, yeah, you might have like upset me or you might have hurt me or you might have like you know been horrible to me but at the end of the day that's made me who that i am today you know everything that we've been through person, yeah, yeah of course everything that we've been through it's made us who we are today a lot stronger and that we can rely on ourselves as well so thank you to be honest i don't hate you because lying thank you're a you. stronger person 100 percent but I don't know, I can't really speak on other people's behalf though. Because yeah. maybe there's some people that actually do have true friendships. Maybe me and you just... No, of I course. Like obviously people have true friendships. But one thing my dad always told me, laugh with many but don't trust any. You can mm. have so many That's different friends. Action. Yeah. And to be honest, it's good. You should think about yourself in this world because this world is so short. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not nice when somebody's giving you your all and you're just giving them half of you. Yeah. So laugh with many but don't trust any. That's one of advice so, I would give you guys. Take it. What about you? And you know, daddy said that to you, that advice. Yeah. And the funny thing is, my dad gave me, uh, he gave me advice. Um, the same kind of time where like this whole situation was going on when I moved out and stuff. I used to go out a lot with my mates and stuff like that. My dad used to always say to me, is like, what did he say? He said, your friends will be there for you now, but your family will be there for you forever. forever. And I was like. That's why we're really close with our family. Yeah, like I didn't, I didn't get it at that time because but now looking back, I'm like, you know what? That's so damn true because if I can, like, okay, okay maybe we sound, me and man sound really lonely, like we have no friends and stuff. We no, I have, have friends. friends. I have loads of friends. We have friends, but I'm just talking about <laughs> previous experience and like, and stuff like that that's happened to us. And I agree so much with that quote my dad has given me because like your family will be there with you forever. But like friends just come and go and honestly it's so true. If you stop for a moment, think how many people have you met in your life has come and gone loads yeah and it's all because of a lesson like you live and you learn and honestly i couldn't like couldn't couldn't be more that. grateful that's that's my honest opinion i couldn't be more grateful for everybody that's been in my life for everybody that is in my life and for everybody that's left my life thank you so much thank you <laughs> next but honestly like with friendships like maybe you guys out there like have a like have actually met someone you're like oh my god it's my ride or die like that person is like literally a sister to me or like a brother to me like you know um one thing like I, i'll give my advice and you can probably give you yours like one thing i would say uh, from my perspective and from what i've learned over the course of years like with my friends and stuff i'd say like obviously like have fun be a good friend be the best friend that you can be because you know what that person will turn around like shit this person is such a good person <laughs> like be the best person you can be but don't expect everyone to treat you like how you treat them yeah. because not everyone's the same do you know what i mean like so i mean be the best person you can 100 percent. so that person will be like oh shit this person's actually a really good person but not everyone's gonna don't expect in return because not everyone's gonna be like you that's one advice i would definitely give because yeah because that's important and mm -hmm. also another advice that i would give you guys is rely on yourself mm -hmm. don't feel like that oh um i need friends to be happy i need this person in my life to feel fulfilled mm -hmm. i need this i need that no you need yourself you need your dean and that's all that you need in life like what am i trying to say this is way my is serious by the way guys <laughs> no what i'm trying to say to you guys <laughs> is that it doesn't matter if you're like your friend can't get you places this is what i'm trying to say to you yeah because if i want to get a job my, my friend can't say to me, yeah, yeah, um, she can't speak to the boss and get me into that job. Of course not. I have to get myself to places where I want to be. Your friends can't do that for you. Yeah. So rely on yourself. Make sure you're all the best person that you can be. Thank God for everything. And you'll get that. Trust me. 100%. Like I used to. Used to have like a really close friend. Friend that we've been together. Knew each other. Like best friends. Friend. <laughs> for years. Um, but yeah literally um yeah we were friends for like years and stuff like that but oh like over course of like 10 years you start we to see that you start seeing cracks. the true colors and yeah 10 years is a long time you're like oh my god like how like how did it take you that long to actually realize people but change honestly, people change and i think that's one thing that's proper messed me up like in my head 
it's like we were like bffs like secondary and all of that stuff um i feel like people are gonna know who i'm talking about that's absolutely fine darling we wish you the best in life but I think that people are, like people are gonna know who Iman's talking about. People are know, gonna know who I'm talking about. But I'm not. I'm not like scared to come here and talk to you guys about not. it because we want to give you guys our honest true, opinion. honest opinion and like, real and life this is experience. What we've been through. You guys asked us what we've been through. We're telling you our personal experience. We're not gonna. We're not gonna sugarcoat yeah, it. Cause tell you lies, not be. We're gonna tell you the truth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you watch our videos and you know that it's, we're talking about you, thank you. Next. Yeah. So yeah, that person, like that person, obviously, like I realized the true colors after like ten years, which is a very long time. But yeah, obviously affected me mentally. Like I have trust issues now, not with like guy issues. Obviously, I'm married, alhamdulillah So like, you know, I'm I'm happy in that sense. But I got trust issues with like friends. Like um, when I meet when I meet new people, I'm just always a bit wary. Like I'm like, of course. do they want to be <laughs> friends with me because I have a platform? I mean, my no person personally. But anyways, we're not gonna talk about that. But. Yeah, we know so many situations. We've been through problem. so much. That's why this this video and this thing that's gonna we be talking for hours, honestly. This series is gonna be the best series of your life because we're gonna be sipping on some tea, baby girl. Because we have, I feel like my drinks are even there. My even too. That's sad. I'm both trying to sip it, and then there's nothing even in there. Me and mine have so many situations. I can't even tell you like so many situations but it's not when i'm talking about like true honest friends like we have gone through so much like in our past like you know couple of years yeah. and we've seen the good the bad the ugly like everything like we had good times had bad times in different situations obviously my friends are not iman's friends iman's friends are not mine obviously for obvious reasons for anyone different out there who's thinking we're talking about the same people obviously iman's got her own friends and i've got my friends but yeah that's basically my situation that's kind of like messed me up so now like i feel like the people i meet i'm just like you know what cool we be friends we go out this and the other but i'm not gonna hold like a friend to heart because like i mentioned i had a bff for like over 10 years and everything went downhill and it just it just was an ugly you could say like a little situation. breakup it, it was like ugly breakup you could say like obviously but um yeah i'm not gonna talk too much about that like I'm just I'm not gonna talk about that subject because obviously it is a personal like subject and I'm not gonna go too into it, especially not and on plus the, on the the everyone that we're talking about, me and Amina, we got we wish you all the best in life. Yeah. We're doing good. Hope you are too, darling. So guys, we've been talking for so long. It's been like over twenty minutes in the other video as well. So um, this is basically some of the scenarios that we've been through, some of the advice we would give you guys if you guys are going through the same situation or like if you've got a friend and you're just like not sure about, honestly, just invest in yourself. Like Iman just said, like invest in yourself. That's the most important thing. I feel like in life, you just need religion over everything. God, God is always there for you. Allah. Family. And then, yeah, you can have a good friend or like, you know, go out socially and stuff like that. But most importantly you've got god and you've got your family to be there for you so keep that in mind um, but i hope you guys what do you want to give some advice i was just going to say a lot of people also feel like they can't speak to the family or that they might not have a close relationship with your family yeah. that's absolutely fine too you don't it's not you don't necessarily need your family mm. obviously we need our family because we're close with our family or whatever mm. but certain people who are not close with yeah, their family or you've lost your parents or yeah. you know you're not having got that close relationship with them doesn't matter Focus on yourself, work hard on yourself, achieve what you want to achieve, and all the rest will fall into place. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed our first series, which is us talking about friendship. Um, let us know down below what other topics you guys would like us to talk about next. Um, we might cover bullying because I feel like that's a really Shall relatable subject. Yeah, we'll probably do that in yours. Yeah. So guys, tomorrow. look out for Iman's video. We're going to film a video on Iman's channel, which is going to be talked about, which is the topic about bullying. I feel like that's very relatable for so many different reasons. It could be at work, it could be at school, it could be anywhere. You could get bullied, like on social media. We've got some situations too. So yeah, there is like so many different scenarios from the situation. So um, we will be filming that on Iman's channel. Yeah. I'll leave that link down below for you guys down below. So make sure you check that out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first series. And we shall see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>